The Supreme Example The Beloved Son of God is presented to us as the absolute and perfect expression of obedience to the Father. He it is to whom the whole family of God is pointed, that all may see the beautifully flawless standard for our emulation. We read the very remarkable statement, Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience, Hebrews 5 verse 8. His life on earth, from the manger to the cross, was one of complete subjection to his father, and he could say without contradiction, I do always those things that please him, John 8 verse 29, and again, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me, John 4 verse 34. Twice from the open heavens did the father bear witness of his son, first, at the close of his private life in Nazareth, and later on the Mount of Transfiguration in the midst of his public ministry, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, Matt 3 17, 17 to 5. At the end of his testimony our Lord could say with perfect truth, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest. Need to do, John 17 verse 4. His obedience was unto death, even the death of the cross, Phil 2 colon 8. To the followers of his steps comes the admonition, Be thou faithful unto death, Revelation 2 verse 10. For all the children of God, what can be better for them than that they, too, learn obedience throughout the varied experiences of life, by considering him? We shall not reach the same standard of excellence as the Master, for in this also he must have the preeminence, Colossians 1 verse 18, yet we may so live as rightly to merit the term obedient children, and so give pleasure to the heart of our Father in heaven. He who learned obedience in the days of his flesh, has become the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, Hebrews 5 verse 9. And when the voice was heard on the mount, there were added the two important words, Hear him. He who perfectly obeyed commands our obedience, as he is our Lord, but it is the obedience of love. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, John 14 verse 21.